All right, so most of y'all know that Carla and I have been playing around with the thought of moving to another country. The first country we visited was Lisbon, Portugal. It was okay. Now we love Madeira Island, but Lisbon was just okay. So Carla and I are finally about to visit another country and we have a special guest, my niece. What's up? Y'all, we are actually going to visit Japan. Let's go. And we're right now, we're currently in the hotel. I am tired. We drove all the way from New York uh, to St. Louis. And my niece, she drove from Indiana to St. Louis. And uh, we have to, what time is it? It is currently 9.30. No, it's 8.37 p.m. And uh, we have to be at the airport by... Uh, 2.15? Yeah, 2.15. So, Carla, she's in there taking a shower. But, you guys, we are about to experience a new culture. We are about to experience different language, different foods. And, um, you know, I don't know. Japan could be on our list, a potential place to, uh, to move to. Who knows? But let's get ready to go on this journey. You don't have to leave the country to have an adventure. If you have a reliable partner to team up with, you can get paid to travel North America by driving with the Highfield Trucking Fleet. We make six figures. We live inside of these 40 foot straight trucks with sleepers that are way bigger than the typical tractor trailer setup. And you only need a class B CDL. If you want to learn more about this amazing lifestyle, click the link in our description. This is Team Trucking Reimagined. Oh, we already checked in. You got your boarding pass on your phone. Yeah, so we made it to the airport and uh, Carla, she's over there rearranging some stuff. We were talking about how like we don't understand why they have you get here so early and mm -hmm. <laughs> just to wait. But I think uh, the biggest challenge is when you go through security. Just making sure you're able to get through there with everything you have. Mm -hmm. My mom, they don't have uh, like chips similar to St. Louis chips, so, so she asks us to bring her some rice and we have riplets and some popcorn, and we just want to get through the line, no issues. Um, but yes, see how I broke it down like that real quick. I don't know what you just did, really. You just got everything in your suitcase? Yeah, so they okay. won't say, I don't have, um, I got too much stuff. I don't know if we're gonna be on a small plane, but if so, you're they probably- They might have to take this. Yep. Yeah. All right, that wasn't too bad, y'all. Lauren, she, they actually didn't even shake her down because she's 12, and then they let Carla go with her because Carla said she was with her. Yep. Uh, I, I like, shake down. They rub me on my back and stomach and all that. Yeah. It's all good though. I like it when they don't have to pat my hair down. <laughs> Real quick. Oh my God. I have never been to an airport before. This is so shocking. <laughs> this is so new. Ooh, that coffee smell good. You want you some coffee? I don't know. You know, last time my stomach was good. But... All right. <laughs> Headed to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Y'all, so right as we sat in our seat, Delta actually uh, delayed, or well, they sent me a notification that one of our flights was delayed. So now I have to choose another flight for us for that last leg. 
so I'm actually working with a virtual assistant right now trying to figure that out. Oh, I didn't expect it to be that major change. Um, is that, that was like the only option. Okay, okay, so uh, so I need to go somewhere else to catch a flight to Detroit at by what time? Okay. Um, okay, uh, so what do I need to do? So this marks my second international journey and my fourth experience flying. While I still see myself as a novice traveler, when I learned that our entire flight itinerary had been altered, I couldn't help but to feel a mix of nervousness and being overwhelmed internally. However, outwardly, I made a conscious effort to maintain my composure. This situation also provided a clear answer to my earlier question about why they recommend international travelers arrive at the airport three hours in advance. And you did it for all three of us, right? Okay. Okay, and I can just do it through the app, right? All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right, so we actually gonna have to make a move because now we are going to leave from St. Louis. We're gonna head to Detroit. From Detroit, we're gonna head to, I need to look at it on my phone. I never heard of it before. So this flight right here, So yeah, we're not even gonna get on this flight anymore. This is so that we can get to um, uh, Hiroshima today. I mean, well, at the yeah. same time. We actually gonna get there earlier now. Hold on, I gotta go through the check-in process again. I'll let y'all know. Thirty-four, and then Lauren, you hungry? Uh, okay. okay. So as we're walking to eight thirty-four, if you see, they got Chick Fil A down there. What you want to eat? Now, since we got um, Lauren situated, she's over there eating where we're supposed to get loaded. I'm gonna see if I can find anything close to fruit in this airport to try to stick to what we do, which is robbing for four. Got this market here, plum market. Oh, right there, some fruit. So it was recommended that if anyone's going to Japan to complete a customs form on the website, I, that was the QR code that y'all saw. So I'm going to see what this is about. We didn't have to do this with Portugal. So let's see. Yeah, so just an update. So I just spent almost an hour filling out this custom sheet like japan they're not playing they want to know everything they want to know how long you're going to be there make sure it's 90 days or less um they or you have to get a some type of visa they want to know where you're going to stay the address the, the zip code all that what's the reason you visiting and when you leaving yeah they want to know everything so i just had to fill it out for all three of us going over there knocked out <laughs> with well, her shades on because she don't want nobody in her face <laughs> and uh to uh, the people who follow us she is a baby sag <laughs> gang gang <laughs> <sighs> but uh i gotta make sure i got everything um but it was different so that's just for the people who are considering visiting japan just know you gotta go to the website visit japan 
um, just Google Visit Japan, and then it should pop up where you have to enter in all your information, passport information, all that stuff. They wanted to know about our travel insurance, which um, we do have our travel insurance. We're using Safety Wing uh, travel medical insurance just in case anything happens. I got all three of us covered. As long as we're not doing any kind of crazy sports, we're good. So, but um, it's almost time for them to start getting us to board. There go our big airplane. They also sent a message, Carla, saying that our bags is on the plane. So, okay. yeah. So now we're uh, we have a 13-hour and like 40-minute flight to Tokyo, and uh, after that, just a short one-hour flight to uh, Hiroshima. Fifty four A. A? Where are they? How many of you? Three? Three. Okay. Then all of them. This side. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Girl. They want you to walk around your house shoes. <laughs> they really want you to be comfortable. As far as the food, I mean, it was airplane food. They fed us three meals and unlimited snacks. This here was chicken and rice, a pasta salad, and dessert. Whenever I encounter foods I'm unfamiliar with, I sniff it first. I thought it was so funny when I noticed my niece doing the same thing with her food. up you guys first night of arrival we decided to crash at my mother's apartment that has a beautiful view of the pacific ocean it's currently like five o'clock in the morning uh we did go to sleep maybe around like 10 or something like that and now we're back up at five um but we are actually at my mom's place my mom and her husband's place and uh, today we should be checking into our hotel, which is actually not too far from them. Um, but whew, I'm sure y'all can imagine it was a long day. But um, I'm really excited to see what we get into. I know we've been invited to a dinner tonight by um, a high ranking person in the military. I'm sorry, I don't know all the details yet, but uh, they're celebrating Labor Day here even though Japan doesn't celebrate it, they do. So they invited us out to dinner. Um, so, and I'm sure we're gonna get into a few things too as well, so. All right. But um, we are actually in a small town here in Japan. So y'all really gonna get to see like, cause we're gonna go to Tokyo as well, but y'all really gonna be able to see just, I guess, different angles of being in Japan. Like from the small town, like look at them trucks over there. <laughs> the little box trucks. <laughs> That's pretty dope. But um yeah, y'all gonna be able to I guess see a few things and um I'm sure we're gonna get into some stuff too today, but try to catch a little bit more rest um, before we really start moving around so let's we'll see how it goes but I'm gonna have to show y'all the shower and stuff too it's like things here are just so different if you're not already follow us on Instagram 
um, we're sharing just a lot of different things we're saying on the fly. But like even going to the restroom in Tokyo was different. Uh, but um, they had like um, they play water fountain sounds to help you relax while you're using the restroom. Uh, I know the toilet in there has a seat warmer. I don't know their technology. You could just tell it, it just seems different, advanced, more advanced, of course. Which I know Tokyo is actually leading in technology, but um, to actually see it and interact with it is pretty dope. So, anyways. Alright y'all, we finna head to the grocery store. Local Nana Hachi Ju. So when we ask when we ask, say Kai? Why? This is we live on local Kai. Oh, every, local every, Kai. Every, everything they count uh depends on what it is. It has a word uh, elevators and stuff. Are we walking? No. Oh. You wanna walk? I mean it don't matter to me. No, because we don't have groceries, so no. Yeah. Anyway, when you take the mini coop, I was like, Lauren wasn't coming to take the mini coop. Um, if Lauren thinks she could fit in the in the back. All right, that's cool. Take the mini coop. If Lauren could fit in the back. Okay, so this is where you got your vehicle parts, yeah. like a vending machine. Oh, here we go. <laughs> No, I'm saying how long we gotta wait for this process. The orange one's yours, right? My aunt say hey to our people. Somebody told me to tell you, uh, YouTube said hey. Hey, YouTube. Oh, this is a little process right here. The hey for you to be late right for work or something. If you spot the green and yellow sticker on the left side of the vehicle, it signals to other drivers that there's a new driver at the wheel. Although my mom isn't a novice driver, She's still adapting to driving on the opposite side of U.S. roadways. On that side of the vehicle, I was literally about to get on that side. Probably she's on the sensor. All right, so I'm actually going to get in on this side to ride. So yes, we are driving on the opposite side of the street. My mom definitely had to learn, uh, get familiar with driving on the other side of the street. And having to sit on the other side of the uh, car. Yeah, they, uh, they said they still have moments of going to the wrong side of the vehicle, but they try to play it off. <laughs> All right, mom. Oops, <laughs> That's illegal. Would you come blow your horn here? So you can't blow your horn here, guys. Unless it's a extreme, extreme, extreme emergency. How much trouble can you get in for blowing your horn? Mm, a ticket or jail, I think. See? That's why you got to know your laws when you come to these different countries, guys. And respect the way they do things. Don't fight up. Prior to our journey to Japan, I dedicated time to acquaint myself with their laws to prevent inadvertent violations. What I discovered is that Japanese culture places a significant emphasis on respect and courtesy. Surprisingly, I uncovered some unique laws and fines, such as prohibition of spitting on the ground, fines for drivers splashing rainwater on pedestrians, and even penalties for cutting in line. Another fun fact that I learned, uh, Izel, he actually told me that we're gonna we're gonna drive through a lot of tunnels here yeah. 
because there's a lot of mountains and what they did was just kind of carve their way through the mountains um so you don't have to go over them and it's really hilly here um so i found that interesting because we just passed the tunnel oh this the store oh that was fast it's sunday um their hours different yeah <laughs> Lord, like it's Sunday already. Girl, I almost felt like we was on the wrong side. Woo! I know it. It be that way. I'm glad you used to. I'm glad you worked out all the kinks before we came here. And you've been here for like what a year now, almost. Oh, yeah, it's been a year. September 11th, we got here. Okay. So yeah, my mama them they really got it down. Zell, he was speaking some Japanese to the guy um, at the oh, bus like station. That. I was like, that's what's up. And uh, they typically hang dry their clothes. They don't really use dryers. Dryers is very expensive. Oh, another thing too, Mom. Did you say, like, when they walk on the street, they don't really, like, stare at you like this, it's green. Unless you greet them, and then they'll be, like, excited. Because she didn't look at us or nothing. Yeah. You'll see they want to look, and then they be like, mm. So what do you say? You say, konnichiwa? Yeah, uh, it's morning. You say, ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. That means good morning. Morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. I'm gonna have to use that. I'm just gonna try it one time. See how it goes. And I forgot how to say thank you again. Have you found yourself bowing yet? Not yet, but I am definitely prepared to bow. Ohayo gozaimasu. You know how to ask if you're opening uh, Japanese? Uh, no. You can point. Oh. Open the B. Open. I got bananas. Next. I'm just black. Are you open? Okay. Try it. Okay. Can you give me close sin. That's excuse. What is it? Sumi my sin. Sumi my sin. Are you open? Okay. Um, close. Close. Emoji. What? What time? Nine o'clock. Nine. Okay. Um. Gozai. <laughs> I done got those guys. I Most of my life, I played with the Spanish language, so Portuguese was not as difficult to catch on to. However, when it came time to actually speak Japanese, it was so foreign to my brain that I froze up. Is he, is he gonna help us or something? Why is he staring? Is he gonna help us? He there in case you need oh. help. Oh, hi, Mazai Mas. Yes. Oh, he gonna pump it? Oh, he's gonna do it for us. おはようございます。おはようございます。うん。給与を開始する方は、あ、すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。す
One thing I forgot to mention is because we're in this small town of Kere, it's not as easy to find a local who's willing to speak English. So encountering this woman was a true blessing. And it's also one of the main reasons my mom is taking weekly Japanese classes. It's free to go to the uh, submarine museum, museum. Oh, oh, my there, oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, we can go to that one too, but it's free. Oh my god. This is something I gotta get used to. No locking doors, no letting the windows up. We're just leaving. All right, this is right up my alley. Watermelon. Probably get Carla one of these. Oh, here's the melons. And there's another rule. They prefer for you not to feel all over their food. What you touch should be what you get. I mean, I know Carla don't want to touch it. I was just touching it. <laughs> Another thing I noticed is that the fruit was pretty expensive. 2,000 yen to USD is about $14. So yes, I'm spending about $14 on a watermelon. Like right here, here we go. Those grapes are smaller than the grapes. Yeah, look at these. Here, you pick it, Lauren. There we go. All right, I think that'll do me for my food. What's, the, what's this line? We gotta wait a line to get this stuff. Oh, they ain't open yet. Oh, wow. Look at all these people that's waiting to get in here. Oh, yeah, because it's uh, it's 8.59. They're about to open now. Here, I'm glad I looked up the laws. My mama thought about cutting the line. We got a line wrapped all around the building. Wow. Look at her body, Mom. Dang. Yeah. Yep, y'all, we done made it. We made it to Japan, guys. Another thing I had to adjust to was the stairs. In this small town, we stick out like a sore thumb as foreigners. So be prepared to be stared at very often. No, I was just more so surprised that like, rather than waiting, letting someone pick and then letting someone else pick, they're just kind of like crowding over the, um, the vegetables. Oh, I thought you said you can't touch stuff. Um, I literally have been having to squeeze my fist so I'm not tempted to touch. Oh, can you get here? Um, but like this bread, it looks so fluffy. I just want to like, you know, see like, okay, is this what I want? But, um, 
Yeah, just trying to remember not to touch. Remember I told you they had, oh no, I'm still with that. Why they got five, five pieces of bread in the bag? <laughs> what you, what you gonna do with five pieces of bread? <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want your own bag. Put these things. So like I told you, we are here at the lieutenant's house and uh, we're celebrating, I guess, Labor Day. And uh, she whipped up some really good food. Um, I just got the asparagus steak well done and the mashed potatoes. Got Lauren over here, she's messing up her steak. Yeah, we're really appreciative of them inviting us out. Are you good over there? Yes. Awesome. It's seasoned good too. Okay, well let's see what it's getting. Mm. All right, Tiffany. I see you. I see you. I see you. No, it's good. It's really good. Yeah. I got biscuits coming. I got biscuits coming. The, the seasoning is on point. Is it good? Yes. Right. All right now. Mmm. The asparagus too. Okay. No. Mm. This is so good. Ooh, the butter is already melted. This is really good. Let me try the potatoes. You know what? What? This is really good. Yeah. I didn't have any expectations, but. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks, Tiffany. You really did good. You showed out. I got brownies and ice cream for dessert. Oh, oh. And peanut butter cookies. Cake. And lemon cake. I love lemon cake. You know I love lemon cake. Man. All right. Well, guys, I'm about to eat my food, enjoy myself. And um, we're actually planning on heading to Tokyo tomorrow. So we already checked into our hotel. Um, but that's going to be an interesting journey as well because we're hopping on the bullet train. So... Right, y'all so as y'all can see we made it to our hotel we're still jet lagged tired as a mug i still need to figure out what time we got to get up in the morning but um it's just so many things <laughs> i think uh J japan ranked uh number two as far as service that they provide to their uh people um really high rank and i can tell it's everything is just well thought of as far as providing convenience to the people in this country, but um, what's these robes they laid out for us? Mm -hmm. Got robes. They um. said don't wear the house robe and the house shoes outside your room. And we would definitely respect that. I think I want to do. They got like a a salt. It's like a spa. Do you yeah. know what that is? Yeah, it's like salt water pool down there that you can just sit in and just heal your body or let your body relax. I hope not, because they ain't going to get no show from me. Uh, they uh, provided complimentary toothbrush brushes and um, 
Q-tips and stuff to wipe. I think wipe your makeup off your face, maybe. I, I don't know. The razors. They got razors. Body wash towel. Um, the bathroom is pretty dope. Now, the bathroom is a bit different. I don't know if this is kind of how my mom's is. But when you take a shower, you actually take a shower here on that floor. Um, so you're really not supposed to even walk in here with your shoes on. Um, but yeah, I had to kind of adjust to that in my mom's place, like taking a shower outside of the tub. But uh, they have a, every toilet we've been to, they had some sort of bidet, um, which I've actually been using it and I like it a lot. You just feel really fresh. Um, but other than that, it was really nice um, at the lieutenant's house. The food was delicious. She actually also served dessert. It was like brownies with ice cream. And man, these people are just really, really cool here. Really nice. Really considerate. Um, if if it, I heard it was really hard to kind of move to Japan. But if it was like not hard to like the process, this would actually be a country I think on our list as far as moving to. Mainly because it's really clean here too. Everything is just so clean. They really take pride in their place. Um, but anyways, I'm tired. We're about to go ahead and settle down. And uh, I guess tomorrow we'll catch y'all getting ready to head to Tokyo. Mm -hmm.